Okay, I spy with my little eye something red. Is that red card? Hi, I'm Amanda, and this is my daughter, Nola. Today we're at the flea market. It is the perfect place to play one of our very favorite games, I Spy. You excited? <laughs> it's a great brain-boosting activity that you can play just about anywhere with kids of all ages. Come on, we'll show you how. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, here's how you play I Spy. First, you choose one of the players to be the spy. And then the spy chooses an object silently, like say this blue globe, and then reveals the object to the other players by saying, I spy with my little eye something blue. Then the other players try to guess what the secret object is. If they're having trouble figuring it out, then the spy can give an additional hint. We'll show you how it's done. Mom, you be the spy first. Oh, all right, let's see. Hmm, let me find an object. Okay, let's start over here first. Hmm, all right, let me pick an object. Let's see. Oh, here's an important tip. Do not look directly at the object when you're giving your hints. That is a dead giveaway. All right, I have my object. Cover your ears. I chose the red dye. All right, Nola, you ready? Okay, I spy with my little eye something red. Um. Is it that W? It is not that W. Um, is it that red stripe around the pin? Ooh, good one. I hadn't even noticed that. No, nope, that's not what I was looking at. Is it the red dye? Ah, yes, you did it. It is that red dye. And you said the right word because dice is two. Two, and a die is actually just one. So you got it. Good job. This game is so good for kids' brains. It's not only a great way to expand their vocabularies, but it also develops their powers of observation. So, Noel, you want to play again? Yeah. Okay. I spy with my little eye something blue. Is it that blue block? It is not that cube, no. Keep going. Um, is it this toy car? Uh, no, that's not what I was looking at, although you're right, that's very blue. Try something else. Um, is it that lock? No, that's not what I was looking at. I'll give you a hint. It is something that you wear. Hmm. Oh, is it that pin? Yes, that's also called a brooch, and people wear it on their shirt. Nicely done. Thank you. Yeah. Now we'll do one for you. Oh, good, okay. I spy with my little eye something golden. Something golden. Uh, is it that trophy over there? Nope. How about that necklace? Nope. Uh, is it that brush up there? Nope. Uh, the bronze shoes? Nope. All right, I give up. What is it? It's that brooch. Ah, you learned that word before. Good job. Nope. You can adapt this game to play with kids of all different skill levels. When Nola was little, I just asked her to point to an object of a certain color. All that matters is that you're making kids think about their surroundings and exposing them to new words. As always, we'd love to hear from you, so type any comments into the box below. And don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know about new videos. Bye. <laughs> Stop touching me. All right, three. Oh yeah, <laughs> I did it, I'm awesome, I did it. Oh, hello, I look like a school teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Simon says, pat your heads. Simon says, rub your bellies. Simon says, give your daddy a hug. Yeah! Hey, I'm Jesse. Did you know that playing the game Simon Says with your kids is actually really good for their brains? And it's also a fun way for them to practice self-regulation, the ability to control your behavior. This game also requires players to listen, focus, and follow directions. And if your kids are like mine, well, they can definitely use some more practice in that area. In this video, I'll show you how to play. <laughs> to play, start by choosing someone to be Simon, the leader. Simon will give commands to the other players. 
When the commands begin with Simon says, the other players must follow those instructions. If the command does not begin with Simon says, any player who follows it is out. All right, guys, we're ready to play? Yeah. You sure? All right, yeah. so Simon says, touch your head. Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, close your eyes. Reach down and touch your toes. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, move like a robot. Simon says, play the air guitar. Now freeze. Ah, uh, yeah. I got, I got you. I got you. All right. When kids learn to listen carefully to each command and decide whether to follow, they're demonstrating self-regulation, which will help them do well in school. Simon says, flap your arms like a chicken. Simon says, stand on one foot. Simon says, make a funny face. Simon says, twirl like a ballerina. All right, now bow. Simon says, touch your ears. Touch your nose. Simon says, quietly run in place. Simon says, stop. Simon says, run again. All right, let's take a little break. Ah, I got you again! <laughs> Alright. You can adapt this game to play with kids of all ages. My little one, for example, may be too young to fully understand the rules of Simon Says. So when I play with him, my focus is introducing him to new words. Simon Says, touch your ears. Yeah, good job. Simon Says, touch your nose. Yeah, good job. Simon says, smile. Simon says, wiggle your fingers. Simon says, flap your arms like a chicken. Simon says, dance in place. Yeah! As you can see, my kids love to play Simon Says, and I love that they get to practice their self-regulation skills. Now we wanna know how you and your kids play Simon Says. Share pictures and videos by hashtagging them Mother Goose Club. Add your stories in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to be the first to hear about new videos. Simon Says, say goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, I'm Jesse. Just in case you don't know, I'm Jesse. <laughs> Definitely use some. All right. Simon says, "Get it together." <laughs> the ability to. <laughs> the ability to control your behavior. <laughs> you guys are so good. Oh, you me in the face. I can't, I can't win. I can't win with these guys. <laughs> The ability to control your beat. <laughs> Simon says, Simon says, rub your belly. Let's try it again. Yeah! Are you really good for your kids' brains? No. Really good for your kids' brains? That sounds funny. Actually, really good with, really good with their brains? So you have your kids and their brains? Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Dude, you're good. <laughs> I thought I was going to get him on that one. When kid, wait, wait. <laughs> when, gosh. When kids learn, ow now, brown cow, to understand the rules of practice, they're, ah, and share, ah, and add. Too young to understand. Ah. If the command, ah. Simon says, <laughs> Say goodbye. Yeah, it's a fun, fun. Way. it's a fun way. Fun, fun, funions. <laughs> patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Hi everyone, my name is Liam. I play Eep the Mouse on the Mother Goose Club. One of my favorite rhymes is patty cake, and in this video, my friend KJ and I will show you how to do it. Rhymes and songs are super fun. They're also great for little kids. And one reason is memory. Hearing words in a rhyme makes them easier to learn and remember. 
We're going to do patty cake one time, then go through it line by line. You ready? Yes. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, roll it, mark it with a B, and put it in the oven for baby and me. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. If your kids are old enough, you can do the first two lines like this. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Or for babies, you can hold their arms and do it for them. Are you ready to be a baby? Sure. <laughs> pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. For the last two lines, pretend to bake a cake. Pat it and roll it and mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. One more time from the top. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and roll it and mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. Get your kids to do motions with you, any motions, because moving along with a rhyme or music makes kids more coordinated. As you can see, patty cake is good for kids of all ages. If your baby is too young to understand the words, she can start learning the sounds and enjoy the time you spend with her. So get in there and patty cake it up. Show off your mad rhyming skills by hashtagging photos and videos with Mother Goose Club and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more great tips and songs. And check out Mother Goose Club's patty cake starring you know who. One reason is memory. If the mm, hearing words, hearing words in a Totally there sorry. you go, that's it. <laughs> that's it's good for kids of kids, kids, kids. <laughs> I'm the oven, baby. I'm sorry, I okay. forgot. Could you, <laughs> could you? <laughs> One time, again, then, I'm sorry. Whoa. Let me have your head. <laughs> there. No, don't turn your body. Just, your Just let me have your head. What's the line? Hold on. <laughs> Helps them. Makes. 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 Makes them. Makes. Makes them easier makes. to learn and remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got it. I just, I just get in front of the camera. I'm like, uh. Where are you supposed to look, honey? Uh, One more time from the top. Sorry. <laughs> oh, there it is. And yeah. roll. <laughs> you got an itch. Let's tell One more time from the top. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Is this mail? Or is it lunch? I think it's mayo. So we're gonna take it out of your mouth. But they both start with M. Hi, I'm Jennifer, and this is my daughter, Sterling. Hi. Hi. She's one year old, and she isn't talking much yet, but she understands a lot. One easy way to boost her understanding is to talk to her about anything. I'll show you how. Sterling is very curious. Yeah. So no matter what I'm doing, I try to talk to her about it. Or you talk to me about it. Let's look through the mail. Yeah? Let's see. You seem to... Oh. You found a bill. Yeah. You want to you wanna pay the bill? And then... Oh. This looks like an invitation. Yeah. Oh, there's... So, oh, thank you. You're helping me sort the mail? Oh. All right, let's see. What else do we have? Mama. Ooh. Oh, what's mm. this? Mm. Mm. Nana? Yes, it is from Nana. It is from Nana. Dear Sterling, I'm having such a good time in Paris. Oh, you want to fly away with Nana? Let's see, what else does she say to us? That's such a pretty picture. Such a pretty postcard. May I see it? No, you want it all for yourself. This is all mail. Lots of letters, they come through the post office. Mail has stamps. And mail comes in all different shapes and sizes, like people. 
Would you like to open this note? Yeah. Yes, let's open this piece of mail together. Let's look. There's so much. Oh, you're gonna hold on to it? Ah. All right, why don't you hold on to that piece of mail? All right, let's open this piece. Yeah. This is an invitation from our friend. Let's open it together. Let's open this mail. Mama. Yeah. Let's see. It's inside. Ooh. Yeah. Dear Mama. Sterling. Babies and kids are sensitive. They feel the tone in your voice. That's why it's so important to talk to them about what you're doing. They hear a calm, happy voice, and they feel safe. Sometimes it can even calm them when they're fussy. Let's make Mama some tea, huh? Which one? Oh, you're ready for some tea. Are you a tea drinker? All right, let's look and see what kinds we have. We have green tea, Earl Grey, <laughs> or English breakfast. Oh, it looks like all three are winners. Let's see. Around town. Oh, you just want to eat up New York City, don't you? Just want to eat it all up. Will you follow along with me? Ooh, Arbor Weekend at Wave Hill. I love Wave Hill. Oh, let's go. Seems like you're ready for a trip. Feel free to use big words. You'll be amazed at what kids listen to. And remember, there's more to your talking than the words you say. Babies hear the tone, rhythm, and feeling in your voice. And all of those teach them how to talk. Ooh, Sterling, there's an airplane. And there are lots of buildings, and there are trees. Even in New York, there are trees. Oh, do you hear that car? They look so tiny from here. Hmm. How many buildings do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know, I can't even count that high. What else? Ooh, there's a pigeon. There's a pigeon flying across so we know it is New York City. What else? Talking to your baby or young child is one of the easiest and best ways to grow more connections in their brains. How do you talk to your baby? Show the world by hashtagging photos and videos with Mother Goose Club or commenting below. And subscribe to be the first to learn about new releases. All right, Chatterboxes, get out there and start talking. <laughs> <laughs>1 year old so she isn't talking much yet but she understands or maybe she uh, is kids, Rachel and Benjamin. Have you ever noticed that kids love to play with cardboard boxes? Well, it turns out that cardboard boxes are not only fun, they're also great for developing brains. I'll show you how. <laughs> boxes are great for growing minds and muscles. Just set the box out and let your kids go to town. Their imaginations will take them away. 
Are we at a restaurant? Yes, yeah, so we are at a restaurant. Yes, yeah, so you can take mommy's mommy, order. Mommy, what you want to eat? Mommy, I would like to mommy. eat a hamburger no, no, and some come fries, come please. Come. Boxes offer more than fun. For one, they're comforting. The space inside makes kids feel safe, kind of like how babies like to be wrapped up. Plus, box play teaches kids spatial awareness which is the understanding of your body in space. Spatial awareness is so important for all movement, but also for social skills. Cardboard boxes give kids a lot of power. It's like a whole room that they can do whatever they want with. When kids imagine a box into different things or move it from one place to another, they develop independence. They feel powerful and learn that they can do things and solve problems by themselves. Good job! Can you give me five? Give me five, you did it! <laughs> a box is basic, no batteries, no sound effects. 100% of the play comes from the kids' imagination. That means that cardboard boxes are imagination superchargers. Beep, beep, beep. Good driving. Woo! Almost there. Woo! And brakes. I'm here. Are you here? Yes. All right. Come on, baby Sarah. Come to the doctor. You'll be amazed at what kids see in a simple cardboard box. It can be a spaceship, a house, a cave, a bus, or even a drive through restaurant. It's a great art opportunity too. Kids love to color and transform boxes. So save those boxes. A cardboard box is many toys in one, and it's a great boost for growing minds and bodies. Help us and other Mother Goose Club families by sharing how your kids play with boxes. Just hashtag pictures and videos with Mother Goose Club and type your play tips into the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to be the first to hear about new videos. Thanks for watching and happy playing. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Cardboard <laughs> box. Cardboard. And let your kids. <laughs> Boxes, they develop. <laughs> Let me tell you about cardboard boxes. <laughs> it can be a spaceship. I need water, y'all. And other Mother Goose Club. Or comment or type your play tips. Type your play tips. Or type your comment. <laughs> or type your play tips in the comments section. Oh. <laughs> It's a great art opportunity too. Imagination. And this is the parents' happy dance for no batteries and no sound effects. <laughs>